Hello everyone, I am Shruti Sinha, working as Assistant Professor in Namala College, Ranchi. Hope you all are safe and sound. Today, I would like to welcome you all to the virtual lecture, which will cover Unit 4, Boolean Algebra. In particular, we will focus on the Chapter 1 of the Boolean Algebra. Let's begin. Boolean Algebra is the algebra which deals with only two quantities, that is either true or false. When the truth values, which means the values of the variables, are true, then it is denoted by 1, and when it is false, then it is denoted by 0. So in the Boolean Algebra, we use only two quantities, 0 and 1. The Boolean Algebra was used to design the switching circuits of the computer. It is a useful and clever way to simplify digital circuits used in microprocessors. It can help reduce the cost and raise the speeds and efficiency of the computer. Digital circuits are made up of logic gates and logic gates are the fundamental digital components that perform simple logical calculations. Boolean algebra was developed by an English mathematician, George Boole. Boole created a system by which certain logical statements can be expressed in mathematical terms. In 1854, he published a book titled as An Investigation of Laws of Thought, which actually led to the development of new system known as Algebra of Logic or Boolean Algebra. There are some basic terminologies used in Boolean Algebra. The first is logical statements. The statements which can take only two values, that is either true or false, are called logical statements. The second is logical constants. The resultant values of the logical statements are called logical constants. There are two logical constants which are again true and false. Third is binary valued variables or quantities. Those variables which can take only two values are called binary valued variables. For example, it will rain. It is a binary valued variable because it depends upon whether it rains or not. And the last is compound statements. Logical statements which are combined with the help of logical operators form compound statements for example a not b or c here not and or are the logical operators before discussing the logical operators let's know about the truth tables truth table is a tabular representation of all the possible values of logical variables with all the possible outcomes for the given combination of values, a truth table consists of two major parts. First is row. The horizontal lines of the truth table are called rows. The number of rows in a truth table depends upon the number of input variables. For example, if we have two input variables, suppose x and y, then there will be 2 to the power 2 that is 2 square which is equals to 4 rows in the truth table. So in general 2 to the power n rows are there in the truth table where n is the number of input variables. And the second is column. The vertical lines of the truth tables are known as columns. Tautologies. The compound logical statements which are always true are called tautologies. It means when the result of the truth table are always 1, then it is known as tautologies. Fallacies. The compound logical statements which are always false are called fallacies. It means when the result of the truth table are always 0, then it is known as fallacies. This figure shows there is a truth table which contains 4 rows and 3 columns. All the horizontal lines are rows and all the vertical lines are columns. X and Y are the two input variables and F is the output variable in which we have to find the product of X and Y 
because in x dot y the dot indicates the and operator which is the logical multiplication so x y and f are the three columns of the truth table there are four rows because the number of rows depends upon the number of input variables and there are two input variables which means the number of rows equals to 2 to the power 2 that is 2 square which is equals to 4. Now the next topic is logical operators. There are three basic logical operators and or and not. And is also known as conjunction operator and it is denoted by a dot. Or is also known as disjunction operator and it is denoted by a plus. And not is also known as negation operator and it can be denoted by three symbols. A bar, a single quote mark and a tilde sign. Let's understand how this operator works. And operator is a binary operator so it needs at least two operands. It operates with two or more operands. It is actually used to perform logical multiplication and the symbol for AND operator is a dot. So in this we have to find the product of the values of the given two or more operands. Here the operands means the variables. Now the OR operator is also a binary operator so it is also operates with two or more operands but it is actually used to perform logical addition and the symbol is plus symbol. So in this we have to find the sum. Now the NOT operator is a unary operator because it operates on a single operand. This operator is also called the complement so it is used to perform the logical complement. This is the truth table for the AND operator. Let's understand how to draw the truth table, how to take input values for the given variables and how to find the output. So here we took two input variables. Hence there will be four rows and we took three columns. Two for input variables A and B and one for the output. Now let's understand how to take the input values for the variables A and B. So actually in the column of input variables we used to write all the possibilities in the terms of true and false. Here 0 indicates the true values, false values and 1 indicates the true values. We can also write T for true and F for false in the truth table instead of 0 and 1. The simplest way to take the input values for the columns are write 0 and 1 alternatively in the column of B and double the values that is double 0 and double 1 in the column of A. In this way all the possibilities will be written here. Okay. Since it is the truth table of AND operator so we have to find the product of the values of the variables A and B. So after finding the product we here we can see the output is 1 only when both the inputs are 1 and else it produces output 0. In the same way we can draw the truth table for OR operator. The only difference is here we, ha uh, we have to find the sum of the values of the given variables. In this truth table we, ca uh, we can see all the input values are same as they were in the to table of the AND operator. It produces output 1 when any of the input is 1 and output is 0 when both of the inputs are 0. Now this is the truth table for NOT operator. Since it is a unary operator, it operates on a single variable. Here it is written as A. So in the number of rows, we draw two horizontal lines because the number of rows will be two. There will be two columns, one for the input and one for the output. In the input here, it will be written zero and one. And as not operator complements the value, so in the column of output, not operators will produce one when the input is zero 
and will produce output 0 when the input is 1. So in this way we can draw the truth tables. Now I am giving you an assignment. Here you have to prove all these statements using the truth table. I have solved question number 1 for you all. Here we can see the values of the column 4 as well as the values of the column 5 are same. So hence it is proved. Thank you for watching the video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.